Hi guys, Max Perez from Digital Octopus. This is the ZM1086 overview. We're gonna jump right on this. All right, so I'm gonna open the switch up and you can see this beautiful animation that comes in and we go directly into our UI. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through everything how it is on the menu. The car is off right now and the reason why I have it off is because I have a check engine light uh, that keeps coming up and I haven't been able to take the, this car to be serviced because I need it here to make these videos for you guys. So, um, I apologize that I I don't have it running, but I will show you it running. I'm gonna start it up. I'm gonna drive it right in here in, in our garage. Um, I just don't want to put too much stress or make uh, whatever damage is on the car right now. I don't want to make it worse. So uh, here we go. So the first one on top it says trip, and what we want to do is we're gonna push down on the steering wheel button, and there it is. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna push down on the button here, the one that's on the on the turn signal. So we're gonna go in. So now we get this menu where it says distance, startup, from reset, from refueling, echo, and return. So I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom. So distance basically shows you uh, how many miles you have in your car. Uh, trip A, trip B, exactly how it is on your Camaro. So we're gonna go back and by going back, I press the menu button on the turn signal uh, control. We're gonna go down one and from startup again, uh, distance from the time I started the engine, it was six minutes ago. I mean, when I opened the switch, uh, fuel economy, etc. cetera. We're gonna go back. From reset, same information. If you need to reset, you can press that button again and it will just reset. So let's go back one from refueling, same deal. You can reset this uh, from the refuel and then uh, you'll get an accurate uh, number on how many miles per gallon you're getting. So I recommend you do that when you first get the unit. Next, we go to Echo. So this ecosystem and, and sport and all this, this is not available on this Camaro. It's available on the newer Camaros um, that have the, the buttons in the, the drive modes in the, in the center console. So you guys that have that, you should be able to see this in here. This car doesn't have it, it's a 2012. I'm gonna go back. So we're gonna return and it'll bring us back to that menu again. Real time info. So it's, show, it's showing me how much volts I have in the car right now. Uh, my battery, uh, miles per gallon, transmission temperature, 32 uh, degrees, oil pressure, zero PSI. That's because the car's off. Distance uh, to go 170 and it displays 170 here as well. And it's uh, displaying my miles in here. So I'm gonna go back, information, tire angle. So if we turn the angle, which I have my phone connected to my steering wheel, you should you see the angle right here changing. So I don't want to uh, tilt it too much because I don't want I, I, I want it to stay in frame. So I'm just going to leave that alone right there. So that's what all that does. It just shows you your angle if you are, you know, your tire angle. Service information, oil and fit the filter. You can reset this here. Uh, front brake, same deal. So when you get your uh, brakes so checked, um, inspection, everything is right in here. So you can set these up or you can reset them from, from scratch. Brake fluid again. And this is very cool because um, I can't recall my Camaro having these features anyway from the, and I have a 2012 uh, RS, the, the Transformers edition. And I didn't have any of this, any of this, uh, uh, features in there so here we go filters and this is for the uh, gas filter and then spark plugs individual and then let's see what's individual that you could customize to be whatever you want it to be if you want you know whatever you want to put in there whatever information uh, spark plugs again same info and return so we're gonna go to the next one down which is system settings. And we're gonna click on theme first. 
and theme is just gonna change uh, the way our uh, display is shown so i'm gonna click on track on touring first which is the one uh, with the two gauges kind of like what we are we used to seeing the rpms on one side and the miles per gallon on the other side and then the rest of the information on the center so if we click on return and we click that so now you should see this is what the display should look like once it's ready so we're gonna go back again we're gonna click on menu settings and let's keep going through the themes and next here we have track so that would change it into track mode and then sport that's your sport ui and return next we're going to change the time so right now uh it's, it's obviously set to the wrong date you're probably going to get 1970 which is the default uh and to change this what we're going to do is we're going to click on it once and we can go ahead and change the numbers by just clicking on the button one time just like quick little taps when you're finished with that we're gonna press and hold and it's gonna bring you to the next one same again press and hold and then press and hold and we're gonna adjust that to 2023 gonna press and hold All right, so now we have um, today's March 31st. Press and hold. Done. The time is, um, I don't have the time with me right now, so I'm not going to set that up. Actually, it's 11.33 a.m., so let me go, go set that up right now. So press and hold again. So press and hold press and hold and 33 press and hold and then taps press and hold and confirm perfect so now uh, we can return we'll go into language in language we have the different uh available languages right here just in case you guys mistakenly change the language is in chinese or whatever other language just remember uh english is on the second one down so we can go ahead go down the menu we have spanish here so now configuración de idioma is up here Let's go back to English and let's go back to the main menu. Now generic. So this is uh, day display. So when your lights are off or when it's daytime, uh, this is how bright you want your system to be, right? And then again, if you are in dark or night, but it's dark in here, you could uh, change the brightness here as well. All right. I'm gonna put this to there's fine. I'm gonna press and hold and it'll take me to the next one. Or you could just simply uh, click on the on these um, uh, turning out <clears throat> or you could just simply uh, twist these down and up and you could go through the menu. So next is the color of my car. I'm gonna click on yellow. So uh, we have space gray. We have red, we have white, we have blue, and back to yellow. Uh, we are gonna be adding more colors, and this is gonna be done via updates. So you could go ahead into our website, you could download them, and uh, you could pop them in your system later. Next one is driving mode. Of course, if you don't have driving mode on your car, uh, this is only gonna change the color of the background. It's not gonna change the performance of the car. So next one. Uh, speed warning this is in case you want a uh, uh, speed warning alarm what right now is set to 74 miles per hour uh, I have it on off uh, but it, it'll let you know if you're speeding return all right and now we're in the factory menu so we're gonna click on that the code is 0169 I already had it uh, put in that's why it's still there I'm gonna press ok so now uh, we have uh, some options here that you can look at 
So front door replacement, rear door replacement, that's not gonna be uh, available, of course. This is some, uh, some uh, again, some of these uh, features will not be available for the Camaro since this uses the same system as any other car would uh, use. So this is not a four door car, so you don't have a rear door. Um, accessory disabled. We're gonna keep all this off. Tire pressure, we're gonna enable that on. You know what, let's, uh, accessory, let's enable that. And angle sensor, that's the one where I showed you the steering wheel. Uh, torque split. I'm gonna leave all this on. Start up enable. Reset enable. Refueling enabled. Intelligent idling, idling enabled. Um, this is uh, probably not gonna work if your camera is not equipped with it. Metric unit imperial, that's the one you want for uh, US. And if you are in Canada where they use kilometers, it'll be the one uh, metric. So this is the tool that you will change. Clock enabled. 24 hours enabled or you can do the 12 hour timer so it'll be disabled outdoor temperature enabled temperatures instead of C we're gonna click on F for me doors info enabled this is so when you open your door it shows that the door is open fuel tank position is on the right reversing sound enabled that's for your reverse sensors hide water and oil so this is uh, basically the temperature and the fuel here and that if we disable that I'll, I'll hide that menu but i'll keep it on and then we could return so that's probably everything that needs to be you know on this system uh here's the version that you're on and uh upgrade this is so if we send you a file this is where you're going to do it through and return and we're back to the main menu so this is pretty much it for the cluster itself uh, there we are working on it you know everything is gonna come via updates right now um, we're testing it on the manual transmissions on the tra manual transmission and most likely it's not gonna show what gear you're on because the gearbox doesn't send the signal to the original cluster so that's probably uh, likely not to happen so uh, we're probably just going to disable that p and and leave it as is uh right now for the automatic of course you know whatever gear you're on it'll show you and that's because it, it sends a signal uh to the to the console here all right so uh, there's other things that also we're going to be working on which is the lap timers for the co1 camaros and if you guys have any suggestions just let me know write to me at digital octopus radio uh, go into the website. You can just chat, send the chat, and they'll they'll give me the message. Uh, so just go in there, and if you have any recommendations, anything you need, you want to add uh, that you would like to see in future updates, let me know. Of course, the cars are, are a big deal. We are working on that. Um, but first, we're working on the more important parts, like the the standard, uh, the manual transmission uh, part of it. So. Uh, like I said guys, uh, great product. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and just spin it. I'm gonna just gonna take it around in here. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna take it for a quick spin right in here in our lot. Um, there's no radio in right now. And that's why we get getting that traction control because I don't have any of this connected. Um, I'm just gonna take it for a quick spin so you guys can see. Let me focus on that. That's the mouse. Here. Let me change this menu up so you can see the other ones. There we go. I'm not gonna drive this too much again because it uh, has an obvious engine problem unrelated to any of the equipment here. This is um, it's a bad a spark plug from what they told me, so I have to take the I have to take it to the mechanic so they could get that fixed and we can create more videos for you guys all right so i'm just going to put the video on pause right now there is one more menu i need to show you and i'll be right back all right so here's that uh, menu i want to show you guys 
so this is in i don't know how i skipped this earlier but if you go into information we have a whole bunch of other menus here adaptive cruise control is not available on this camaro it's probably not available on yours so uh, this is not probably gonna not be working a tire pressure there you go so these are your tire pressures uh, we're gonna get this changed to psi soon and that will be be an update steering wheel angle we went over that service information we went over this so i'm just gonna go back and return all right guys this is it for this video um there is uh just want to let you know that there is a lot of more changes coming up a lot of more updates we're still working on this we just we were eager to get this out into the market um but we're almost there uh the good part is that you know anything that's uh wrong or it, any information that's displaying wrong on the display could be fixed uh you don't have to send the unit back it will be fixed via software update so with that said i would like to thank you guys for the support uh follow us uh, at digital octopus radio on instagram we are always uploading information and tips on this new uh zm uh 1086 uh also if you have any questions uh visit us at digitaloctopusradio.com and uh, at the bottom right there's a little chat box just send us a message and we'll get right to you and lastly uh, i'm thinking of opening a forum page this way uh, we could share information in the community if you have any suggestions or any problems any fixes that we could use or any tips uh that will be helpful so that's coming soon i will uh, put up a link later on probably on this video at the bottom uh but uh always go into digitaloctopusradio.com and just look for updates we're, we're gonna be posting updates soon so i'll check you guys on the next video and you guys have a great one